if there's no problems with tonal, if you're having no issues with tonal, Joe, why is it that you haven't been doing tonal content? That is a big one. Morning, everybody. Hope you are all doing very well today. So, as you guys have noticed, we've been doing a lot of handy gym videos lately, right? And I've been reached out to by a lot of the viewers of this channel with very specific questions about, Joe, what's going on? You're not doing tonal videos anymore. What's happening? Uh, we missed the tonal videos. And so I just want to address some of the questions that you guys had because you guys have a right to know what's going on. You guys have become a part of this family. Um, and I'm grateful to say that. So I want to address the questions that you guys have had. They're great questions and I am very excited for this video. So as you guys know, this channel is kind of synonymous with tonal, right? So if you look, if you look up tonal reviews on YouTube, likely you're going to find a lot of my videos. Uh, I think I have probably about over 200 videos regarding tonal and my journey with tonal. I know that it's different to see different types of videos. But guys, we delve into a lot of stuff on this channel. We delve into weight loss. We delve into tonal. We delve into bodybuilding. Like I've taught you guys how to bodybuild. I've, I've actually laid out specific plans for individuals on this channel for free um, because I want to be able to help. This channel popped up to let the world know about tonal because I was like, this machine is amazing. So that's what I did. But it's grown and I'm grateful to say that. I'm grateful to say it's grown. You guys are part of my family, like I've mentioned a million times, and that's why we're getting into this video today. So let's talk about some of the, uh, the questions that have arisen over the last couple of weeks. So the first question is, am I still doing tonal content? Yes, guys, I am definitely look forward to still doing tonal content, 100%. You guys know that I love my tonal, and I, I'm excited to be able to do tonal videos. I'm excited to be able to help you guys learn about the machine to show you new things that I discover guys I love doing tonal content I love exercise in general so you guys better know that I plan on continuing with the tonal content I even mentioned it in a video that I did the other day that I'm gonna be doing some handy gym videos but there is there's no reason to think that I'm not gonna be doing tonal content I love the machine and I love doing what we do on this channel teaching about tonal, learning about tonal, showing new moves, all that kind of stuff. I still have a list of stuff that I need to get to regarding the tonal stuff, so no worries as far as that goes, guys. Next question is, did something happen with tonal that's causing me to not make tonal videos lately? Well, as I just mentioned, I do plan on continuing the tonal content, so no, nothing's happened with tonal. I'm not upset at them or anything. Nothing crazy went down. So the next question is, well, if nothing's going down with tonal, if there's no problems with tonal, if you're having no issues with tonal, Joe, why is it that you haven't been doing tonal content? That is a big one. So you guys might have remembered that over the last few videos, I've told you guys to please forgive me that I haven't been able to be as available to make content as I normally would and that I would try to be getting back to a normal schedule as soon as possible, right? You guys might have noticed that. Um, there's a reason for that. Guys, I'm moving. <laughs> I'm moving. Me and my wife are in the middle of moving. We found out just a very short time ago that we have to leave where we're living. So we're looking for a new place and we are packing boxes and we have a lot going on in life. My family in general has a lot going on in life these days. I don't want you guys to worry. Um, everything is fine as of right now, but there's so much happening that I have just simply not been available to make tonal content because tonal quite literally is on my wall at home, right? So I'm out and about, we're looking for places, um, we're packing, we are doing a whole bunch of stuff um, I'm trying to help my family out because like I said, we got a lot going on with the family. Me and my wife, when we're home, we're packing. And when we're not home, we're out busy doing stuff. So that is why I've mentioned over the last few videos, we got a lot going on and I'm not gonna be as available for content and please forgive me for that. That's one of the reasons why I, I'm so grateful that I came across the Handy Gym guys because 
I originally wanted to purchase the Handy Gym strictly because I wanted a mobile way of working out in case I went on a vacation or maybe perhaps um, tonal breaks and I don't have the availability to use tonal. I would have something like an adjustable dumbbell or like the Handy Gym. But guys, I came across the Handy Gym at the perfect time because like I said, we just found out that we ended up having a move very recently. And I happened to get the Handy Gym around the same time. So guys, I haven't missed a beat. Not only have I been able to continue working out using the Handy Gym instead of the Tonal because I just can't be around Tonal, I have been able to build muscle. Guys, solid muscle. My gains have been happening. They've still, I'm still making progress. And I'm excited to say that I've even lost more weight because of the Handy Gym because of the nature of how the machine works. But I'll get into that in a later video. The next question is, you guys have seen the video recently where I mentioned how Handy Gym made me such an amazing, amazing proposition. Handy Gym has given me the opportunity to be what they refer to as a brand ambassador, right? So basically I'll be representing the company to a degree and I'll be working for Handy Gym and teaching you guys what this machine is how it works and just continuing to do what I normally would have did anyway even if they didn't give me this wonderful privilege. I would have been teaching you how to use this machine because I find value in it. You guys know I'm all about sharing knowledge, right? I want to share value uh, with you guys. Everything that I find valuable, whether it be weight loss, tonal, bodybuilding in general, I want to share with you guys. So that is something that I would have did anyway. And because I would have did that anyway, Handy Jim said we love what you're doing. Thank you for that. We appreciate you and the content that you're putting out, and we want to be able to, um, you know, have you on board. As far as Handy Gym goes, they appreciated the work that I was doing. As far as Tonal goes, why did Tonal not grab me up? Um, well, guys, I gotta be honest, I don't know, and I, I mentioned to somebody in a comment just the other day who asked me, this is just one of the people, the beautiful people of this channel who asked me, how come Tonal didn't grab you up? I mentioned to them, I'm actually glad that Tonal didn't. And the reason why, guys, is because, I I'll be quite honest, I don't feel as though Tonal appreciates the work that I've done. And there's a couple of reasons for that, but we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. Either way, Handy Gym seems to appreciate the work that I've been putting in. And I'm grateful for that, because I'm grateful for them. I'm grateful for their machine. If it wasn't for their amazing product, I wouldn't be able to still be building solid muscle on the go like this. I mean, I would be out of commission. Think about it. In the I'm, middle of a move, in the middle of stuff going on with the family, all this crazy stuff that me and my wife are dealing with right now, I would never have time to exercise if it wasn't for Handy Gym. I wouldn't have time. I would never be home. I wouldn't be able to do a workout on my tonal because of this. So I'm very grateful for Handy Gym. And um, as far as why tonal didn't grab me up, guys, the, the only thing I can think of is that I'm too honest, okay? I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but I do believe that it probably has to do with an honesty factor. I've told you guys in the past, again, this channel was made to teach you about Tonal, to show you about Tonal, to help you expand your knowledge regarding Tonal, yes. But this channel is for you guys. Don't forget, this channel was never for Tonal. This channel was for you, the viewer. It says in the description of every single one of these videos that this channel, this channel was created for you to teach you about the machine. This channel was never to advertise for free for Tonal. That was just a bonus that Tonal happened to get, okay? Tonal was able to benefit from that because guys, we've had thousands of sales because of the channel and the work that I've been putting in. And I know personally I've made Tonal tons and tons of money because of all of the wonderful viewers who watch this channel, learn about the machine, and appreciate what the machine has to offer. So I, I know that for a fact. So what do I mean about maybe it being because I'm too honest? Well, from the beginning, as I mentioned, this channel was for you. So from the beginning, I've told you guys the good and the bad about Tonal. Now, while there isn't too much bad about Tonal, there is some undesirable aspects to the machine as well as to the company, right? It's extremely expensive. They're charging you an arm and a leg for the machine. They're charging you a ton of money for a subscription. Um, they're forcing you basically to um, have 
pay for features that you may not actually use in that subscription. Um, I've even told you guys that you would be better off making your own workout plans and not using their coaches and their trainers, right? I've told you guys all these things. Quite honestly, in every single one of my videos that I've done about Tonal, I've probably mentioned something that is less desirable, maybe not bad, but less desirable about the company, something that's not too desirable, right? So this could be one of the reasons why. Now, why do I say this? There have been a few times where Tonal has actually reached out to me and asked me to retract some statements that I've made about the machine, some videos that I've put up. Now, while I can't blame them for not wanting a bad light, a bad light, because I mean, honestly, the things that I've said about Tonal, they, while honest, they're not necessarily bad, they're just honest. And, um, you know, so I, I don't consider them to be bad. At the end of the day, when when you are a company and you see somebody saying something bad about your company, a lot of the time you're gonna have a lot of people say, hey, do you mind not saying that? <laughs> and that's basically what Total has done in the past. I don't blame them for this. You can't blame them for this. They don't want any bad publicity. They're a newer company. They want the most customers as possible. They want their customers to be happy, right? So in the past, Total has has actually reached out to me and told me, Joe, you mind not saying this or you, you mind taking this video down? And I'll be honest with you guys, I've told them no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, what I put out is genuine information for you guys because I want you guys to benefit from the information that I speak to you guys about. So I'm not gonna sell out no matter, no matter who I'm working with or no matter what I'm doing, I'm not gonna sell out. That's not something that I'm about. So I've told you guys in the past plenty of things regarding Tonal that they might have not wanted me to say, but at the end of the day, that's the only thing that I can think of that would make them not want to grab me up or, you know, maybe they're just like, hey, this guy's doing free, free uh, publicity for us anyway. Why are we going to pay him or put him on board or give him any perks? Why do it? He's doing it already. So it could be that too. But in either case, it's okay. I'm not mad at Tonal. I'm just responding to the questions that you guys have. So that's what I think as far as that goes. Now, I just wanna do a quick comparison. When I first got the Handy Gym, you guys know, because I made a, a, a video about it, when I got the Handy Gym, I told you guys, I'm gonna let you know everything about the Handy Gym, because I think that the Handy Gym is something that is amazing, that can change your life, that can change your routine, just like Tonal has, right? So I went ahead and I told you guys when I got hurt, when I got hurt on my shoulder, from Handy Gym, I went out and I I, I I posted it. I posted it on a video on YouTube. I posted it on Instagram. What happened? Handy Gym actually reached out to me publicly, publicly on Instagram and I believe maybe even on YouTube, but either way, it was a public reply that Handy Gym went and they said, we are so sorry about that. Um, and they, and they, they showed their concern and they were they they addressed the issue and they quite literally said we're sorry about that we are going to try to do better for the future in the future we're going to try to learn from this mistake and we're going to try to fix the issue or the issues that come across with this machine so you can see that handy gym they were very open and honest they they um publicly acknowledged that there was a problem and then they went ahead and said that they want to get better because of my honest feedback. That's a company that you want. That's, a comp that's what you want a company to be. Open and honest and always looking to improve. Not covering over issues, not trying to hide issues, not trying to ignore issues. I mean, I've gotten so many messages from the, the viewers of this channel that talk about how Tonal, um, nothing against Tonal, but I'm just being honest right now, how Tonal ignores their messages or Tonal ignores problems. Tonal doesn't address issues. I've reached out to Tonal about issues where they haven't gotten back to me regarding certain issues. Um, you know, and, and it's because a lot of the time the issues they don't want to acknowledge from what I've seen. So it's kind of like, ah, let's hide it, let's push it off to the side. Does that mean Tonal's a bad company? No, that's just the way they're doing their business. Does Tonal have many good things about it? Absolutely. You guys know this channel is based on basically talking good about Tonal for the most part, right? Just being honest, just being honest about Tonal. 
they have so many good things about them. I think that they have great customer service and so on. So I'm not trying to say that Tonal is bad, but I'm trying to show you a comparison between the Handy Gym Company and the Tonal Company. Handy Gym acknowledged publicly about an injury that I got, that I received. They said, we're gonna do better, we're gonna learn from it, sorry. And then they reached out to me privately and said the same thing. We're so sorry, we hope you're okay. It was, it was very nice of them. Now, if I got hurt using Tonal, likely, if I posted about it and told you guys about it, there'd be no public acknowledgement. There'd be nothing. More than likely, there would be nothing. If anything, I do believe, I feel as though Tonal probably would have reached out to me in a direct message, not publicly, and said, hey, are you okay? Do you mind taking that video down? I feel like that's probably what would have happened. Now, again, that doesn't make them bad people. No, it, it means that that's the way they run their business. But I give Handy Jim a lot of credit for everything that, the way they handle that, I give them tons of credit. I appreciate them for that. And that says a lot about a company and the people running it. I think that might be why Tonal never tried to grab me up because I'm too honest and open about the things that I speak about on this channel. Because again, this channel is for you, the viewer, not for Tonal, not for Handy Jim. This channel is for you. Handy Jim just happens to appreciate the work that I do. And they said, listen, if you're gonna do the work anyway, we want you on board. So I was like, absolutely, I appreciate that. And I appreciate the way they handle it. And I appreciate the fact that they appreciate me because at the end of the day, it's nice to be appreciated. I've been told by you guys since day one, Tonal should appreciate you. Tonal should be paying you. Tonal should be um, acknowledging the work that you do. Tonal should be doing this. Tonal should be doing that. Guys, I've told you guys from the beginning, this channel's about you and you alone. It's not about Tonal, but again, it's nice to be appreciated. I put a lot of work in, free advertising for this company, basically, teaching you guys about the machine that they don't, things that they don't even teach you. I've taught you guys how to use this machine in ways that Tonal probably doesn't even know how to use. You know, certain hacks for the machine and bodybuilding tips and why you guys should be creating your own programs because Tonal's not gonna tell you that. They want you to use their trainers. They want you to pay the monthly subscription, right? So I'm over here being open and honest and I'm trying to help you guys because this channel, again, is about you. So back to the appreciation. I'm not angry at Tonal. I'm not angry at Tonal. You guys have said so many times, Tonal needs to appreciate you. And you guys might be aware of that video that I did. Tonal has a refer a friend program where when you refer a friend and that friend buys a Tonal, they will give the person who referred that person a discount to their gift shop, okay? It's like a $50 discount to their gift shop, so they're not giving you money. They're basically just like, here, you can get something off our gift shop. They actually shut down my refer a friend program because they said I had too many friends. <laughs> I was referring too many people. Now, while that in itself is not wrong, they make the rules, right? Tonal makes the rules as to how their refer a friend program goes. It shows a lack of appreciation for me because I'm over here making them hundreds of thousands of dollars, quite literally, quite literally because of my channel, hundreds of thousands of dollars, okay? It shows a lack of appreciation because what am I getting for it? I'm getting a, a gift, uh, basically like a gift card. I have to buy their product. I'm boxed into their restrictions. Guys, I have so many referrals that I haven't even used the gift cards that they gave me for because how many tank tops am I gonna buy? You know what I'm saying? How many pairs of shorts am I gonna get? How many sweaters am I gonna get? I literally own like four or five things from that total gift shop and the rest of the referrals I haven't used yet. They're just sitting there. And honestly, I have no intention of using them. Um, but they shut down my refer friend program um, so it's basically like, yeah, Joe, we appreciate you so much, but yeah, we're not going to give you any perk anymore, despite the hard work that you're doing. I reached out to them and I said, is there anything I can do to be able to have this perk? Because I think that you should probably make an exception for somebody who's working hard for you, right? And they said, no, nope, can't do anything, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to send you a gift. 
to show thanks for all the work that you've done. As you guys might be aware, they sent me a gift box. What was in the gift box? <laughs> guys, I don't even use the gift box. I use it to prop my bench up. As I've shown you guys in, in, another, in a previous video, I have quite usually, literally used that gift box to prop up my bench because it's useless to me. It had a water bottle in it, had a sweat rag in it. It was a generic gift box that they give to people when the, <laughs> when the person who purchased Tonal doesn't get their order in time, they might send you a gift box to be like, oh, sorry about that, we're trying to get to you. That was what I got. So that is <laughs> definitely showing an underappreciation, I think, for me, right? So once Tonal found out that I was moving, because I called them and I was like, listen, guys, I have to move, so I gotta get the Tonal relocated. They said, oh, okay, no problem, and customer service is great. Again, I'm not mad at Tonal, I'm just being honest with you guys. Customer service is fantastic. They said to me, no problem, Joe, we're gonna get you covered. Um, you know, you're gonna have to purchase a relocation kit. Actually, maybe you won't have to purchase it. And I was told by a customer service rep that I wouldn't have to purchase the uh, relocation kit and that the expenses of the tonal move would be covered because of all the work that I put in. When I heard that, I said, wow, after all these months of tonal, of me doing tonal content, they're showing some appreciation. And I was very happy about that. I really appreciated it. It's not a lot, it's not a, a huge deal, right? Maybe a couple hundred bucks out of tonal's pocket to give back for all the thousands of dollars that I've made them. Well, I end up getting a call later on saying, all right, Joe, we noticed you didn't purchase your refer, uh, your uh, relocation kit yet. We want your, your tonal move to be on schedule. You know, we want to come and have the company on bo uh, box it up for you and all that stuff. So I said, okay, great. Um, I was actually told that I don't need to purchase it because you guys will be covering those costs for me because you appreciate the work that I've done. And then they said, oh, no, sorry about that. No, we only do that for the people who work for us. <laughs> so I guess the thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars that I've made for you guys isn't working for you because they're not covering the move. They're not covering the expenses that I will end up having to incur from this move. They're not covering it. So they told me they were, and then they changed their minds and took that back. So again, I do feel underappreciated. They shut down my disc, my, my refer friend thing. They shut down. Uh, <laughs> they tell me they're gonna cover my move. Now they're not gonna cover my move. It is what it is, guys. At the end of the day, this is big business. But I do wanna again make a, uh, a comparison. Now, I don't know if this is because Handy Gym is in Spain and <laughs> Tonal is located in the United States. I don't know if there's a cultural difference when it comes to appreciation, but Handy Gym has already reached out to me. They said, we want you to be a part of your team. They can't even tell you the amount of appreciation they've shown via email um, for the work that I've done before I even started working with them and after. They reached out to me the other day and they said, Joe, thank you so much. You're doing a great job, keep it up. The amount of love that they have shown me since I started doing this is unbelievable. Meanwhile, I've been working for Tonal, basically working for free for Tonal for, for months, months, and never even like an acknowledgement, which shows a lot. So again, guys, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not upset at Tonal. Tonal is a big business, right? It wants to make money. I get it. I'm acknowledging the fact that they don't owe me anything. They owe me nothing. They don't owe me anything. I quite literally took their company under my wing and started doing videos about it because I wanted to help you guys. So they don't owe me anything, but it does make you feel underappreciated. And um, it is it is what it is at the end of the day. These are the things that I've been asked by you guys. I pretty well covered everything. I can't think of anything else. Um, but yes, so there are some changes going on currently because I am going through a move, so there'll be a lot less tonal content for the near future. Once I move, then <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to install tonal in the new place, and hopefully everything will go fine. I'll be documenting as much as I can the move, 
as far as total goes, as far as the cost goes for the move. Um, all that stuff is going to be documented for you guys so that I can give you a good idea of what you might have to expect if you ever have to move. And so that's it guys. But yeah, I'm going to continue with the tonal content. I'm going to continue doing what I can for you guys because again, this channel is about you. It's about you, not about tonal. It's about you. I hope you guys do appreciate this. I am, I highly recommend the Handy Gym. It has nothing to do with any of the things that I've mentioned about Tone so far. I recommended the Handy Gym to you guys before I even was involved with them in any type of capacity because it's a good quality product. And I still recommend Tonal because it is a good quality product. It's gonna change your lives. Both machines will change your lives. They will allow you, because actually you put the work in, they will allow you to change your lives, okay? And that's what you want. You want to make a life change. So guys, I know this was a long video, but I had to cover all these questions. I hope all is well with each and every single one of you. I will let you go for now. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video, whether that be a total video or whether that be a handy gym video. And I also want to let you guys know because this channel is for you, I was reached out to by one of the wonderful subscribers of this channel. And they said, Joe, people come to your channel for quality content and, um, People are very heavily invested in the Max Pro these days. Now, you guys might know my stance on the Max Pro. I don't personally like the idea of it because it doesn't have an eccentric phase when it comes to this machine. But this subscriber, who I appreciate, just like I appreciate every single one of you guys, asked me to do a video regarding the Max Pro. So we will be having a video regarding the Max Pro coming up in the very near future. I will be comparing it to the Handy Gym. I will be comparing it to the Tonal and I will give you a good solid review on the Max Pro, my opinion on it coming up in the future, hopefully not too long from now. All right guys, so be safe, talk soon, I will catch you guys at the next one and uh, I appreciate every single one of you as always, take care, be safe, catch you guys in the next video.